For your health, we are taking a look at an effort to prevent suicide in Western New York. According to the CDC, someone dies from suicide every 12 minutes in the United States. News 4's Angela Christoforos tells us about a suicide assessment training held in our area today. Angela? Christy, suicide is something that affects people of all ages, but national statistics show that younger age groups are at a higher risk. In 2014, suicide was the second leading cause of death in individuals aged 10 to 34. Today, doctors, law enforcement, and community members attended a suicide assessment training at ECMC. An internationally acclaimed innovator in suicide prevention shared a presentation. ECMC has one of the busiest psychiatric rooms in the state, with about 13,000 patients a year. Many patients have suicidal thoughts or have already made an attempt. Dr. Sean Christopher Shea taught the audience how to build a rapport with the person suspected of being suicidal so that it is easier to learn information. Clinical interviewing is about how to sit down and understand where they are as an individual, what brought them to that decision, and then really what things we can put in place to prevent them from completing an act or doing it again in the future. Any attempt or any statement about suicide needs to be taken seriously. So often we're afraid to say the word suicide as clinicians, as teachers, as family members, because we're concerned as to whether or not that might make someone suicidal. If you are ever in need, know that there is 24-7 help available. You can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or use the online Lifeline Crisis Chat. More information is on our website at WIVB.com. Live in the newsroom, Angela Christophoros, News 4 at 4.